Hi, Danielle. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Emma. I'm really well. How are you doing? I'm really well. It's wonderful to see your face. We've missed you. <laughs> We've really missed you. Yeah, well, likewise. <laughs> Well, yeah. how, how have you been? Tell us what you've been up to. How have you been spending your time? You're usually dipping and diving between Canada and Ireland, haven't you? Where have you been spending your time? Well, I was, um, I was in Ireland working, so this whole collection was painted in Ireland. Um, and then I decided to come home for Christmas, spend uh -huh. time with my family and my kids. And um, kind of, uh, we're in lockdown, stay at home orders here. So um, I don't think I'll be going back. I was supposed to go back at the end of February. So I guess I'm yep. just here and really reveling in being in family time and enjoying yeah. uh, sort of the, the quiet, the slow pace here for me, um, because yeah. I'm not going out anywhere except for yeah. little walks. Um, and yeah, basically just doing some different sort of paintings, more exploratory and um, very meditative and mm -hmm. um, yeah, enjoying. I set, up, I set up a little studio here in the front room, took over the house. Oh, and, uh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need a bit of time. I, in a way, it's strange. It's forced people to take time. They maybe wouldn't have taken otherwise. Agreed. Um, it's strange usually, how it's happened. Us yeah, usually I would be traveling. Um, and, and garnering inspiration that way. But here I'm finding the inspiration is from deep, deep within. And um, like, just like I say, just that quietude and even the size and scope of the works are very small and very, yeah, just very quiet pieces. Mm. Oh, well, we're blessed that we're going to see this new collection today. And these works are, as we know you to be, they're large, they're exciting, they're absolutely <laughs> fearless with colour. They are superb. And I'm so blessed. I'm in gallery. I'm in a gallery for the first time. I'm just absolutely shocked. Albeit with the door shut. The door is shut upstairs. Um, but yeah, three lockdowns and one tier four in. I think we kind of know where we are. We know what we're doing. Um, and, but, it's, but it's really thrilling to talk to you. And I wanted to say a huge thank you as well, because, you know, you are a private person. You're not on social media. So this is a real privilege for us to see you. Um, not my to pleasure. see you on Instagram with, with me. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> and you, you, know, you, you know what we found, Danielle, is that for us, this has been a really remarkable time because we found for the first time that collectors are actually coming out of the woodwork. Um, people that have been thinking about buying artwork for a really long time, um, they're seeing empty walls and, you know, they're thinking for the first time, you know, now is the time for me. And so actually we've noticed a real surge in people coming to us for the first time, wow. which has been such, yeah, it's been incredible. It's been a really, really wonderful thing to see. Wow. Uh, really rewarding. Oh, yeah, it's been wow. great. And um, so you're, you're joining us here today to talk about your new, collect to, new collection, Chasing the Light. Um, mm. And as I said, it really is a staggering collection. Can you tell us a little bit more about the inspiration behind the title? Yes. Well, I'd say, well, first off, I, I paint uh, by natural light. And so any painter knows that winter light is a trick. It's beautiful, but it's, um, it's very clear, but you only get such a little short window. So it was really all about trying to garner all the energies around me and trying to really, um, you know, be able to paint my longest hours. So being in the studio before dawn and just really trying to chase the light, get every little bit of it, every last drop, as I say. <laughs> um, and I think the collection really shows that because a lot of the work, well, which is often for me, but a lot of the work is about that duality of light and shadow, about heavy, dense pigment and about very ethereal light transparency and sort of kind of moving through those two um, yeah, those two sort of levels together. And if you, when we look at the collection, I think I can point that out more, but that's mm -hmm. very much about what it's, you know, um, sort of inspired by. The inspiration. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Um, and what's new? What can we expect? Um, <laughs> I'm going to show everyone in a moment, so you'll be able to get more of a kind of visual, the impact of the visual on it. But can you tell us a little bit more about any perhaps any new techniques or, or anything that you've used that's slightly different? Um, I wouldn't say new techniques, no. I'd say more of the um, abstraction, very strong mm -hmm. in this collection. 
um, I call it the Miksong, which is um, uh, Tibetan uh, meditation. And really it means a way of seeing. So I, re I played a lot with this uh, collection. I played a lot mm -hmm. with the, like I was saying, the dualities and the depth of looking through the work and just um, seeing sort of the spontaneous magic that happens and going with that. Mm -hmm. It's awfully playful and very much fun to do. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of that in the work. I was in, obviously, I was in isolation, living alone in the wilds of Ireland with my little dog. So it really <laughs> filled me up to have this kind of playfulness and um, yeah. to see what was coming through. Wonderful. That sounds, it sounds great. I can't wait to learn <laughs> a little bit more about the pieces. And we do have six pieces here, which you're very kindly, I think, going to talk about. But before we do that, I'd really like to ask you a question, which means an awful lot to the team. Um, and it's about something that we've all experienced in your exhibitions. Um, you know, I've certainly witnessed it many times myself. Your work, it, it moves people, it touches people. And um, people, people have an intensely personal, emotional reaction to, to the works. Um, and I think there's a spirituality and an intelligence to how you paint. Can you, can you tell us why you think people have this, this reaction? Why they have this, this, this emotive response to your work? Well, first of all, thank you so much for saying so. Um, it, it, it's very humbling to hear you say that in words, I guess, because <clears throat> when those events happen where people get so emotional and they cry and they don't know why, um, I'm in it with them if I'm lucky enough to be there. And I think, honestly, it has very little to do with me. <laughs> it has to do with the magic in in the moment of creating the paintings. I think you know that before I start to paint, I ring my bell three times. And that's really for me to get out of the way and try to let the energies of the universe come in and um, sort of, lead me on. I think really when people connect to that, they're, I'm speaking a truth and they're connecting to the truth, but it's really about them. It's about how open they are and how, um, yeah, how willing they are to, to fall down in that rabbit hole and mm. to allow themselves to be completely blown open mm. to experience those energies. Mm -hmm. that's the best way I can put it verbally. I mean, obviously art is a nonverbal medium and I'm far better at that than talking, but that <laughs> would be maybe how I'd put it. I, I'm humbled, as I say, that I get to be a vehicle for that. Oh, well, thank you for explaining that. Um, it's moving for the teens. And um, so, so it's wonderful to hear that in your own words. Thank you. So the first piece I think we're going to introduce, Danielle, is this beautiful piece behind me, and it's a painting called Seeing Through to Purity. If you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about it, that would be fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, this piece, this very much is about the title, uh, Chasing the Light. So in this piece, you have that transparency and the depth going through. And in the foreground, you have this layering of more of a dense, opaque um, pigment. And so, you know, it's again that duality that we were talking about. And it almost as if the canvas is divided in half, you know, vertically. So it has this long vertical thrust to this piece. Mm -hmm. um, but in there, there is this tiny little bridge that is connecting the two sides. So in duality and in all things in life, we need to have both sides. If you only have light, you have no, no sense of the wealth of information. So here we have the full myriad from the very light to the very dark, from the very transparent to the very heavy opaque. Mm. And that little bridge is the thing that is, is connecting, um, you know, the two sides of self. Mm. Um, That's so in interesting. There, yeah, in, in this piece too, I think you see a lot of depth uh, when you're seeing through, so seeing through to purity, you're seeing through the darkness into these beautiful little orbs, little golden light or orbs and different um, shadings from underneath. So it's done mm -hmm. very much like a watercolor and layered. Mm -hmm. It's a painting of contrast. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. This piece is called This Is Our Dance. 
and this beautiful, beautiful piece behind me here. <laughs> Uh, this is a very romantic piece um, by the title. You can tell that again with the whole collection, the duality. So that golden, um, just like golden light, golden sunshine light kind of coming through and filtering through this heavy gray, steel gray armored kind of strength in the piece. And um, there's like these circles of protection in there and we have the circles of like the little red markings of continuance like may our dance continue but also in this piece that I really love that airy white um, very ethereal movement through the center of the piece and it's almost like a bridal yeah. gown or a fancy dress yeah. and it's as if, if these this couple is dancing their romantic love dance together and that <laughs> is the movement through which they're going through. So it's, um, yeah, it's really a very romantic piece. Yeah. It's, this next piece is, is our fate. We love this piece. It's our personal favorite of the new collection. It's called Memory in the Shape of an Orb. Mm. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful piece. It's so nice to see them hung in the gallery, Emma, even though I'm not it's in nice the gallery, to but you know, it just looks so she's up and she's able yeah. to like dominate. Yeah, she um, <laughs> uh -huh. very ethereal piece like not so much on subject matter just more on the whole sensibility the gestalt of the piece is very sensitive and I I think just the coloration alone just lends that and then when you look through it you start to see the depth behind it so this painting is painted in many many stages much like doing watercolor, I, I go back in and glaze and glaze and glaze. So I'm bringing it forward. So we have these um, sort of ethereal uh, cherry blossoms, but they're not really cherry blossoms. But the, the idea of the spring and the renewal and mm -hmm. kind of traveling through um, the markings again of continuance, you know, all my symbols. But the orb is sort of dominating although it doesn't take up that much space it's dominating and what does it mean and do you know how when i do my uh, little buildings for refuge mm -hmm. it's sort of like that and inside of this orb you you kind of travel into it and it's all the wonderful memories you have you know mm -hmm. it's all of the story of your life inside of that and it's vibrating it's glowing it's your your tale to tell yeah, so, it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. And what you can't really see, and it's as is the case with your work, Danielle, you need to see this work to experience it in its full, um, you know, in, in its full sort of greatness, because this piece has beautiful gold leaf running through it, which is so delicate. Um, and, and, it, and it just, it brings the piece to life. It's really exquisite. Um, oh, and you need to see you. these pieces in person for that. Um, <laughs> The next piece, this one here, is also an, an, a real show-stopping work. It's called Sunrise Celebration. <laughs> um, very, very large, beautiful canvas. You know, exactly the title. <laughs> it, it is a celebration. And she's a, steam, a scene stealer, I would say. Um, she would dominate a space. She has a lot to say. <laughs> very much about, you know, if you're lucky enough to celebrate a wonderful sunrise somewhere, um, whether you're by yourself or with someone that you really love. And that sense of well-being that you have, that's what that painting is all about. And you've got the golden glow up at the top and you've got these blossoms that are really abstracted, but they are based on my blossoms kind of burgeoning and blowing up through the whole piece. Just this massive yeah, celebration. Um, there's also spirit guides going through the work very ethereally. There's um, like a cityscape up on the uh, corner there. Um, and there's a lot of flagpoles. And you see recently, well, recently, last, let's say seven years, a lot of flagpoles on top of buildings with a little orange marking. Mm -hmm. If you think of, you know, flying your flag, it means you're honoring something. You're proud. This painting is full of that, just that strength of yourself as you begin mm -hmm. each day you know so yeah yeah it's it's a party on a canvas that's <laughs> it's a party on a canvas. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that aka also known as <laughs> i'm gonna retitle it party on a canvas. <laughs> and her 
Ireland, we have a beautiful, and this is um, one of your Hope series paintings. It's called Hope Exists Always. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of your more traditional works. We've seen um, it, it's part of that series. Could you explain a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, the Hope series has been going on for, I don't know, I'm, I was trying to think, I think maybe around 17 years. Um, and it, it arrived basically from me painting on plein air up at a little cottage. And the only landmass for 300 miles is um, this island called Hope Island. And I actually visualized these blossoms kind of arriving before me. And I realized that you know, that is all about remembrance, but the hope of things moving forward and always mankind being their very best. So I think it, I revisited it, obviously, at this time with COVID and watching how people just shine under the adversity. Mm -hmm. My husband, one of my husband's big sayings was strength in the face of adversity. And I really see that all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I wanted mm. to do my little part of just showing, yeah, we are united. We always mm. have hope, even when it yeah. seems desperate. We always yeah. have hope. That's a really important message, Danielle, because, you know, we absolutely agree, you know, now more than ever before. So it's a really welcome piece to the collection, um, for, for this collection. Um, and then I, I, finally... do, I, I do like to revisit a series, um, not all series, but... I like to go back, like as in my family series with the white blossoms and, and the hope series. I like to go back because whatever happens in your life, those little threads will come into it. And that's how things bend and move. This is not mm -hmm. the same as it was. It's moving. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's nice as an artist to see that arc. You really see your own growth as an artist when you revisit yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an incredibly well-received um, body of work it always has been our collectors thoroughly enjoy it and it would be it would be wrong not to see a piece of this nature in the collection so it's great to see the final piece that we're going to talk about is a piece called message of truth <coughs> well this is one of my traditional kind of landscape pieces but it's quite abstracted this one again you see that light and shadow very distinctly in the sky there and that brooding indigo coming in and the the golden yellow and that pale kind of washed light in between kind of holding the whole thing together um a lot of mountains scape that's the traditional part and the waterfalls to uh, bathe us anew so it's our it's all about the challenge of ourself and mm -hmm. the challenges that we put upon ourselves not just the ones from the exterior world the ones where you make a secret pledge to yourself to be better or kinder whatever your you know secret pledges are <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, this piece, I think, is quite interesting on the bottom with the water. There's a lot of energy, and, it's, and it really is grounding the piece, but not in a solid way, in a moving kind of effervescent way. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's, it's, again, it's a very energetic piece, a very energetic mm. piece. It's wonderful. It's absolutely great. Danielle, I want to say a huge, huge thank you for talking to me today. It's been so wonderful to see you. And um, <laughs> and um, I also just want to say there's a couple of a number of collectors who've reached out and they wanted to also express their thanks because I know that you've been working on some private commissions over the course of the last few months. Obviously, we've not been able to see you um, and neither have our collectors, um, but um, clients very much have been able to still um, connect with your work through our galleries. Um, but they've also connected with your work through these beautiful private commissions that you've done for them. And I know you've brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to you for doing that. Oh, my pleasure and honoured to do so. Yeah, well, it's, been, it's, been, it's been great. And I, I believe that you will continue with that over the course of the next, next few months, please, until we hopefully <laughs> see you in August. Is that right? Um, yes, I'm happy to do. Yes, I'm happy to make people happy. Thank yeah. you. We know you are. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> that will mean a lot. That will mean a lot to our collectors. That's great. Danielle, thank you once again. It's been such a pleasure. And we will see you very, very soon. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully. Lovely to see you, Emma. Really lovely take to see care. your beautiful face. You take good care. We miss you. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.